welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and I have a Bible review for you. Totally, completely unexpected. And if you have the children, they're playing in two rooms over, but you know how loud kids are. <laughs> but anyway, I have here the Illuminated Bible, ESV by Crossway. It is the R Journal Edition. Y'all, this Bible, believe it or not, was only for $15. There's the price right there. If you can see it, I know the lighting is kind of weird. 15 bucks. And that is the ISBN number in case you're interested. That's the retail price, 60. I looked online because I said, wait a minute, 15. And this is brand new in the box. This has, I don't see any writing on it. The uh, presenta presentation page is completely blank. The I, only, I found one error in here, and I'll share that with you in a second. But this is uh, this Bible became very popular with the Bible lovers because it's beautiful. Look at it. Like, it's illuminated. <laughs> and this box is even gorgeous. Like, this is probably one of the few boxes that I do not throw away. And I know a lot of people have peeves about that, but I don't care to hold on to boxes. But in this case, because this is cloth, and this box looks exactly like the Bible. I would probably keep this one. But let's go over the features. I have here nine point type, two color printing, single column format, wide margins, 64 full page book opener illustrations, 54 page verse illustrations, 250 plus hand letter verses in the margins, 100 plus additional illustrations throughout. And then you have something about the artist. Her name is Dana Tamash, Tanamashi. Is an American lettering artist, graphic designer, and illustrator whose exquisite typographic murals ignited the worldwide chalk lettering trend. She has been commissioned by clients such as Instagram, Target, Google, Time Magazine, Nike, and West Elm. Learn more about tanamashistudio.com and again crosswaying this esv.org and i'm assuming this verse was the inspiration behind this theme and this design it says the unfolding of your words gives light psalm 119 13 and again the box looks exactly like what you see here the unfolding of your words gives light it's on the back of here you have the gold gilding. Look at that. Look at that. This is blue, like navy blue. It has one ribbon. And this is a standard size Bible. You guys know that the ESV journaling Bibles, they are like the standard longer than they are wide versus like the John of the Word and the um, Inspire Bibles, they are almost equally wide as long, which is my preference. But this is just a regular sized Bible, kind of like the She Reads Truth or the Jesus Bible. So not something to, it shouldn't be a deal breaker, but for me it is because y'all know in particular. But in this case, it's crazy because I said, oh, it would be nice to have at least one journal Bible of every translation I actually deal with. And I didn't have a journaling Bible for ESV. And I was counting to use the uh, ESV Jesus Bible. But for some reason, I just want to make that more of a read and not a journal. But this one actually has space and opportunity for that. And another odd is that it's hardcover, which is not my preference either. But this was $15. $15 for an ESV journaling Bible. Let's go on the inside. Y'all have to see this. Look at that. That is pretty. And this is the presentation page, which I normally don't bother in case I want to give it away. Copyright 2015, 2016. You have the contents, Old Testament, New Testament, about the ESV. Y'all know ESV is a literal um translation look at that artwork and this is 
something different on every beginning page. Let me see if I can. Numbers. That's a full page of a verse. There is a lot of those. It has designs on the page. It's just pretty. Without, like, if you're, this Bible is for someone like me. I'm not artsy. Like, you see a lot of people who they can do little doodles and stuff like this and make the page pretty. But for me, I just take notes. So, to have a Bible that actually has, you know, the designs and stuff throughout to kind of give the page a little more personality and pop other than ugly handwriting like myself. And this style is very readable. But like a, two verses here on this page. And like I said, some of them will come in a large page and it's in this gold that's really pretty. And verses here kind of slightly different than what you'll find in Inspired. Inspired usually takes up a column with the artwork and this one kind of is more settled. And then they have some full pages. But nonetheless, you have more than enough room opportunity in both styles to be creative and to write notes. And this one doesn't have any lines, which I think would be best for um, someone who does get overwhelmed, like myself, where you say, well, there's a line. Because I found myself doing that in the Journal of the Word Bible. I'm like, well, there's lines. I need to fill the lines. But in this case, I shouldn't get that. It's just space and opportunity. So I guess for someone who wants to actually do the art, has the option and choices, because some people really don't like the lines. Me, the dotted lines or the side lines, they don't bother me at all. Um, if anything, they makes helps me to write neater. But um, as you can see, these are like off-white pages, which makes the goal even better, in my opinion. And it makes it easy to read on the eye. I'm trying to show you guys something. Ask, seek not, and it would be open to you. That is so pretty. Now, here's the kicker in the in dagger. You guys know that I am so particular about... Um, tabs and stuff because the bible is so gorgeous and pretty but i don't want to get to a point where i don't use the bible because i plan on going using this right now and oh let me show y'all the one thing that was wrong with this bible because as you can see it's pretty much brand new but the ribbon is in its original space but it looks like someone made a mistake of trying to pull the ribbon from that way with the bible closed maybe and the page is ripped here which i can fix with a clear piece of tape as a matter of fact, I think I keep here now. But I do just want to see you show your show you guys the ribbon in its an original space. So take that out there. Take a piece of, piece of tape. I don't need a big piece. I don't even want that big of a piece. Where's my scissors? They were up here somewhere. Up, oh, got them. But um, very, very, very beautiful Bible. Let's get that piece. I might do it this way. There we go. Next small piece. You can barely see it. And sometimes people feel the need to double tape the page, but I think I'm okay with just doing the one side. But anyway, so you see you get the one ribbon. And I think what was significant, significant about this was it was placed where I was in my reading plan. And y'all know that I was very critical on myself about buying new Bibles in my collection. But this somehow somehow makes me feel at ease and at peace because I even had said in my mind with some Bibles that I had in my heart, I'm like, okay, I want them. I even said to myself, no, you don't need them. And especially because I already have those translations with at least one of them anyway. And this was one that I don't have. And I didn't ask for it. I didn't go looking for it. And it's such a good price. And I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm, I'm ready to use it. Like I said, I'm going to wait to do this video with you guys so you guys can see what the Bible looks like. But I'm about to go read this right now. Now, the bad thing is tabbing. Because I don't, literally, the only tabs I have that will make some kind of sense is these Mr. Pen tabs that I had from last year from getting the three tab bundle. And then 
these that they just sent me. And more than likely, I'd rather use these and these because I know the gold does fade, but obviously the gold matches this better. So I don't know, maybe I should tape them. That's always the solution to just tape them. Maybe I'll do that. Just tape the tabs in here. Um, Cause I don't have any others besides, this is also one that I have that I was gonna use and be creative. These are agenda tabs and they also have gold on them. And, you know, I figured that would be nice and creative, but this is more floral and I don't, all of them that I have aren't floral, but they do include a lot of blanks that I can actually put some in there, you know, and make it look pretty. So I don't know what to do right now at this point. Um, you guys are free to suggest things, um, which one, or do you think this option would have been pretty? Let me know in the comments. But tell me what you think about this particular Bible. If you have this Bible, did you tab it or not tab it? I would say is I run it too because I ran across a young lady who has the green one in leather. And I was like, they have a green one in leather? And it was so beautiful. And you no, know, she did run into the issue that I had with my inspired prayer. Her lettering was fading off her front. But it was leather. And I didn't know there was a leather. Every time I saw this, it was hardcover which probably wouldn't have made me buy one anyway because I just looked at it and say it's pretty to look at. But, you know, I didn't want to be a distraction. But in this case, I think I'm all right. It's a pretty Bible. It makes you want to pick it up. And hopefully and preferably, I get into the ESV translation. So there you have it. That's my review. Hopefully I covered everything. So you guys, the ribbon, tail band here. And this is a song um spine and it's sewn on the side normally you got the uh, glue or well, this may even be glue and sewn but i did see that it is sewn so hopefully that means we're gonna last a little longer than normal and which is always a fear of mine so there you have it love you guys god bless take care bye